You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up the bat. Bah. That bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. All right, we back with another Nukes Top 5 reaction, man. You already know what I need from you. I need you to draw with you in the chat, man. Let me know that you with me, you know what I'm saying? But we back, y'all wanted more Nukes Top 5, so we here with Nukes Top 5, man. This is five scary ghost videos and creepy mysteries. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. Top five scary videos of ghosts and creepy mysteries. You decide. This next video comes from a very odd source. It was originally part of a commercial ad campaign for the travel website Expedia. But a very observant Reddit user named Iano LOL immediately spotted something very disturbing in the video. Take a look. Now you probably didn't notice anything, right. and neither did I at first glance. But watch again keeping a close eye on the lady in black. Web. Did you see it? No. Nope. Well, take one last look with a close up on the lady oh. in black and her reflection, reflection on the wall. In the reflection, she seems to take a look toward the man in the video, what? but her actual body seems to remain completely still. Now, this could be an optical illusion or possibly an editing mistake, but the fact that everything else around her seems to move normally makes it especially creepy. What? Reddit user Baked Potato posted a bizarre video to the Argos subreddit. He says that years ago, his friend Kim toured the haunted Limp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri. Kim recorded a video on her phone that caught something chilling. Music, bro. What the fuck was that? Or did I miss it? Now, here I'll out? quote someone quoting me from this very video's Reddit comments. Did you see it? A shadow figure in a hat seems to appear right in front of a brightly lit window. But when she pans back, nothing there. What makes this video even more compelling is that it was filmed on a very old phone, and Reddit user Baked Potato says that the video can't even be removed from the original cell phone. Wow. So it would be very hard to fake. But is it a ghost caught on camera or an optical illusion? Or, to quote another Reddit poster on this thread, is this real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Separation Anxiety Paranormal explorer and YouTuber Ricky Velasquez and fellow ghost hunter Nighty travel to a remote location to do a live ghost hunt on YouTube. At night. The building they investigate appears to be a long abandoned log cabin with missing floors and crumbling ceilings. About 18 minutes into their live exploration, they begin to hear something. Haven't I seen this one? Oh, this is different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. I don't think. Ricky and Nighty can hear a low humming sound that almost sounds like the voice of a woman. But. It's not over yet. Desde que hayas sido tú, te estás murmurando algo. Ay, Ricky, no. Ah. 
Seriously creeped out, but positive that they are not alone, Ricky sets up his Kinect camera. Oh, shit. He asks the ghostly presence to show itself. Toma mi energía para que te puedas acercar. Manifiestate. What? Ricky. Ay, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, no, Ricky. Go look and see. What? No, this is so weird. The kicky pill. Keep putting my resistance in his mouth. They watch as what appear to be the terrifying figures of a woman and child holding hands emerge from the pitch black to stare at them. The figures simply stand in the doorway and watch before silently disappearing back into the darkness. What? When Ricky and fellow Ghost Hunter Nighty reach the area and look around with their flashlights, they don't find anything that could explain what they and their live audience just witnessed. Determined to find an explanation, Ricky continues using the Kinect camera. Yo te ofrendo de mi energía. I offer you, nah, you tripping. Manifiestate, por favor. What? Nothing there? You gotta be bullshit. You gotta be bullshit. Now, if you're wondering in this clip why Ricky runs to the opposite side of where the figures seem to disappear, that's because Ricky's Kinect camera is mirrored from what you see in real life. So on the Kinect, when it looks like the figures are moving towards the right side of the screen, they are actually moving to the left. So, what do you think? Real or fake? You decide. You can watch more of this creepy investigation over on Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel. Caught on camera. Talented photographer Martin Avejas is not a ghost hunter or urban explorer. He sometimes takes artistic photos of models in abandoned locations and records the photo shoots for his YouTube channel. Martin decides to film a tour of one of his favorite photo shoot locations to show his friends and followers. But the location is an old abandoned decaying church. It didn't go well. Part three of my favorite place to shoot. It's a little dark outside. It's, it's pretty cloudy. It's rained all day today. Whoa! Did I just see something or not? I'll show you guys my favorite place to go. I'm seeing stuff. I'm tripping. Downstairs in what I call the red room. The red room is a place I go once I'm done shooting for the day. Just to kind of look at pictures, see if I need to retake anything, re-edit anything. I'll show you why it's called the red room. It's pretty cool. When you turn the light off during the day, it's got a nice tint of a uh, nice tint of red. I'll show you. It's a little dark now, but can't see come down here it's peaceful it's quiet <laughs> the shadowy shape of what looks like a man is sitting slumped down in a chair all alone in the dark Startled, Martin turns off his flashlight. What? But then he turns it back on Why again just to make off? sure. The man is now sitting straight upright. He jumps out of his chair and begins to chase Martin. Oh. He 
Why the fuck would you turn it off? Luckily, Martin escapes unharmed. What? So, do you think this is a paranormal entity lurking in the abandoned church? Or just a creepy homeless man? Why would man? you turn that shit off? Let me know what, what you the think. Fuck? Ghosts of all sizes. Popular Chinese live streamer Zhao Long, who I've featured in previous top fives, is back in another creepy exploration with one of his friends, Zhao Jin. After a long four hour drive to what looks like the middle of nowhere, four hours. the live stream starts with the two friends lightheartedly joking around. Hey, what? What's here? What's this flower? What is this flower? You know that this flower. 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 You know that this However, the fun doesn't last long. As they begin to explore the empty building, things quickly take a turn for the worse. He said I'm not hurt, but I was scared as fuck. After almost getting hit by falling glass, Xiao Long and his friend Zhao Zhen still dismiss it as a simple, odd coincidence. How? They continue their exploration through the dark hallways, but soon get another unexpected interruption. They run outside to safety and Zhao Jin has had enough. Yeah, yeah. After a short break, Zhao Long presses that they should continue their live investigation. What? When they re enter the building, their live stream viewers spot something truly terrifying. What? Did you see it? The two scared explorers didn't, but after reading some disturbing comments on their live chat, they make a frightening discovery. Oh, you what? How many more? Is somebody up there? On a screenshot sent in by one of Zhao Long's fans, a tall, pale figure can be seen staring at them from one of the top windows. What makes this even more bizarre is that when they investigate the area where the creepy apparition was spotted, they realize how freakishly tall 
It must have been. Wow. Wow. What? <laughs> but then things get truly bizarre. Some small dark thing seems to appear out of thin air right before their oh. eyes. And then, just as quickly, it's gone. Terrified, they run out of the building and head home. You can watch Xiao Long's full live stream ghost hunts on his channel on a Chinese live streaming site. The link is in the video description. Room for one more. Now in this next video, there's just a lot going on. Facebook user Rick Wade posted a video on his Facebook page with the description, do you see something strange in this video? He claims that while there was a wedding party going on downstairs, he could hear a female voice coming from an upstairs bedroom. Strangely enough, the voice seemed to be humming. Intrigued, Rick goes upstairs and takes out his phone and starts recording. When Rick reviews his footage later, he spots two chilling occurrences that he didn't notice at the time. First, what looks to be a small child can be seen in the corner of the closet, standing there motionless. Then, as he pans to the right, we see a quick glimpse of what looks to be the edge of a green dress passing by Rick as he films the bedroom. Rick says that he was alone upstairs and that the closet was empty. The mysterious footage remains unexplained. Thanks for watching. All right, that was five scary videos of ghosts and creepy mysteries. That was creepy. That was definitely creepy. Um, some of them I didn't catch. Like the last one, I didn't see the person in the closet and stuff like that. But whatever, man. Uh, still creepy. I still got chills. I don't know about y'all, man. But if you made it to the end, I need you to drop real one in the chat and you got to share this with one person man just share it with one person man and that's it but till next time man self-love and positivity fire squad i got you and you know it hey